Hey, Wabsa here. This is a quick video on wire sorting. So, uh, if you don't know what wire sorting is, it's basically uh, objects going behind or above each other. Uh, I have my player from my video of creating this silhouette shader, uh, like this one when this black shadow uh, shows above the object uh, that the player goes behind. So, you can actually view the player is actually behind the object and it can also go above the object and to a certain height and when it goes right there it goes to behind the object just like that this is wise for uh, let's go ahead and play the game okay uh, here it is you can see a um, player can move it can go above and below the objects and the shadow is affecting it and just like that it's why sorry uh, i'm gonna be showing you real quick how to do it and let's get started okay here we are in the scene uh, my player is the child of the tile node uh, that's just something to notice and uh, we have a simple scene we got multiple layers we got the ground uh, we got multiple layers for the ground then of course we have the trees one type of trees then we got some other stuff like shadows and we got these other trees uh these are just uh, all of the things we got some props and stuff like that here uh you can see it's looking okay but uh, uh, if you see it right here this tree should be below this but it's above this and my player can easily uh go right above a tree uh if he's oh shit on the <laughs> so if i select my player and oh shit and move it, it's going above the tree, it should be below the tree. So there's no white sorting. Now there are multiple steps to white sorting, so it's quite of a confusing stuff. Uh, Gido sucks with their white sorting system and they definitely need to prove this and make a better guy. So uh, let's get started. Now, first of all, you need to go do is you go to the parent of your parent node of your player and your tile maps. Uh, since there we have a common one which is the style map you go to the ordering section right here and enable y sort okay uh, now that we have y sorting on the parent we go to the children now if you have some layers for the ground uh, and the, these puddles i have these puddles and the ground and you don't need to go and enable y sorting on this one uh try not to do it uh, it will do something really weird but let me show you so i have this enabled uh, it's looking okay so if i select this layer which is the ground layer and i go to ordering and enable enable y sorting you can see it since uh we have a million like, i'm not saying million I mean, uh, we have a lot of tiles that are above the trees those just go above this because uh the you know engine is sorting these tiles based on their y we don't want the ground tiles to be sorted by the y because we just want them to be st stay out the same because it should the player will be above them so uh these two layers which are my ground layers uh ground one i name it ground one and ground ground two so these grounds one and ground two layers should not have this y sort enabled we just want to make sure that it doesn't have y sort enabled in the ordering now comes trains Trees should have Y sort enabled. All the trees and objects. Then we go to another one. This is the, some other trees. Y sort enabled, of course. Then we go to the four layer. This is these trees as well, and then Y sort enabled. And as soon as we do that, we got Y sorting. You can enable Y sorting on your player. Mostly doesn't matter, but should do it. And you got Y sorting. Still, we have some pretty 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 big issues uh let's go ahead and uh, go to the player if i select this and go here now the thing is so these trees have y sorting but uh, not quite defined uh dare i say now, how do i mean by define uh you can see that uh, uh if i go to the any of the all of these share one a uh, tile map uh, resource so you can go to any of these and uh, all of these trees have a property which we call a Y sort origin. Now, this origin is the point where the the engine will know is kind of the origin. So let me show you. 
Uh, for example, we got this tree right here. These are the same tile. Now the player, uh, how will the engine know from which point uh, the player should be be below the tree or above the tree? We need to set that point. We go to uh, tile set, the tile set editor, and under paint, we are normally in setup, go to paint, and select from this drop down. Uh, you click right here, uh, it should be something else uh, by default. For example, it should be like, maybe something like texture region, just click on it and select white water region. Now this is the point where from above it, it, the player will go below the object and below it, it will go the ab above the object in the game. So all of this area, the player will be above and all of this area, the player will be below. We need to set a point and uh, the player should be above the trunk so the point should be right here you need to select a number if higher number goes uh, this arrow goes down so if i click on it so you set the number the number i'm going to set uh, 20. Okay, let's set 20 and if i click on it the number will be applied to this one it's kind of like a paintbrush you set a value and then you apply to it uh, that's just kind of the rule here and uh, i'm going to set uh, 50 maybe and not quite 60 should be enough 60 and yeah that's the point now the left and right doesn't matter you only need to focus on up and down so if it's a uh, missed misaligned from the center or it's even right here it doesn't matter you are only focusing on the up and down so so on this point the player would be above and on all of this area the player will be behind. uh let's since we have the brush selected we can just simply click on this one and that will get the same value as well this will get the same value as well this will this will this will. now for that one you need to let's go and think you can move it right there now if you click on this a number appears it says 60 that means the value is too much so it's like going somewhere in the oblivion right there so we just set a value of like 10 and you click on it and uh, now it's 10 is too much 5 is five okay five is right uh five is good we are fine so below this is where the player will you know be above it and above should be clicks stuff like that and you can make it equal to the collision shape uh which you uh, i have set up which is the flex layer so you can just like set up it right here or set like that uh anything you want uh and i'm gonna set a collision for this these things uh if i do it right here i can set up collision right there that doesn't matter in the video just say and uh, something like this should work get this shape and we get this shape now we have voice loading set up uh let's go ahead and run the game by the way i have set up voice loading for all of these and i have set up the voice loader region for all of the tiles right here since there are too much i cannot show all of them right here but you can see that from this point, it, it goes below. You can see this shadow on it that shows that it's behind the object. And it goes behind the uh, thing. It doesn't have a vice sort region or a collision. I haven't said it for this, but vice sorting works is you have set it the system. And just like that, we get a vice sorting. Super simple, super easy to do. And uh, it definitely needs to improve on the vice sorting system. Uh, it's okay, but for large scale games, it can get a bit confusing. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. And uh, if you have any kind of question, if any kind of queries, if you need help doing something, uh, you can hit me up uh, on the comments or, or in the Discord server. And I'll see you guys in the next one.